Well, welcome back to the basement. Good to be back. Good to have you all back. It's been a minute now. It's great to be back on the best radio station in the world, Six Music. Thank you for having me back. So not much has changed here in the basement. What can I tell you? I mean, I have acquired a few more bits of tat, some little trinkets. I must say, though, the place looks, the whole environment looks much tidier than than last year. Now, I understand that this is profoundly useless information to radio listeners, but all I want to do is make it clear that I'm very amenable to lighthouse work and I find it very therapeutic. So the show, for those of you who've heard it before, the show will remain pretty much like the last couple of uh, shows we did. There'll be a lot of interesting music. I hope music that you guys will find interesting. I've been listening to an awful lot of music since we last spoke. So there'll be new stuff, there'll be old stuff, there'll be weird stuff, there'll be cranky stuff, there'll be sad stuff, there'll be hopeful stuff. There might be some new content, a new feature. There will be the same reassuringly awful idents. So basically, the way we've always done it, low quality production values and high quality music. Well, that's the, that is the aim, that's the plan. The first three tracks that you have heard, I have been listening to these pieces of music for a few months now. Do you know the way music just rattles around your head for a while? And I have was very curious to hear the way they spoke to each other as pieces of music. They have this relentless kind of insistency to them that I love about them and this kind of amazing atonality. The first piece of music you heard was a um, 24 track loop from a band called This Heat. They kind of enigmatic, kind of avant-garde punk band from the 70s. This album was released in 79, it was self-titled, and then they split up in 82. And then that went straight into Aphex Twin, with a track called Discat, All Prepared, One Mixed, 13, catchy title. And that was the opening track of Computer Controlled Acoustic Instruments Part 2, which was released in 2015 on Warp. I will be playing some of the new um, FX Twin EP later in the show. And then you had some classic Can, a uh, track called Hallelujah. Now, the original version of this song is 18 minutes and 32 seconds, and it came from the album Take Omega, which came out in 71. The shorter version was a B-side to the band's exquisitely titled single, Turtles Have Short Legs, which they do. The drum part was sampled by Primal Scream for their 1997 single, Kowalski Factoid. For all you Primal Scream fans. All right, we'll keep going. We're going to have some new music now, and this is from Speaker's Corner Quartet. And the track is called Fix, featuring Terza. If you've listened to this show before, you will know that I love, love a cover version, and that is an excellent one. I'm sure you recognize that it's um, Guns of Brixton by The Clash, and that version is by Dub Mentor from the album 4YX, which came out in 2019. It's an excellent interpretation of that song, I think. All right, let's have some music now, a very beautiful piece of music from Mazzy Star, and this is called Look on down from the bridge. Of course, that was the Velvet Underground. That was Pale Blue Eyes from their self-titled album, which came out in 69. I have some Velvet Underground facts for you, which I'm sure the uber Velvet Underground fans will know already, but I'll, I'll tell you them anyway. They were named after a mass-market paperback porno novel, and... When they finally did come across a name that stuck, it was a novel about the secret sexual underworld of the 1960s that Tony Conrad, who was a friend of John Cale, showed to the group. And the book remains in print, I guess, thanks to the band now. Second fact, which most Velvet Underground fans will know, they were managed uh, for a while by Andy Warhol. And their nickname for Andy Warhol was Drella, which was a fairly snarky combination of Dracula and C <laughs> Dracula and Cinderella. And then, when Lou Reed and Kale 
did a an album together dedicated to Warhol. They called it Songs for Drilla. There you go. More new music now. This is from a band called Temps, and this is a tune called No No. This interesting band. So it's a album which was produced, curated, and devised by comedian James Acaster, and it's excellent, bloody excellent album. Um, he's got loads of different collaborators on it. I'd highly recommend it. So this track is called No No. That was music by Fortet called Three Drums. Incredibly prolific, amazing artist. Okay, now it's time for Ask a Reasonable Question. I'm excited to play this terrible ident again. Ask a Reasonable Question. So this is where we ask listeners to send in reasonable questions to me. So you can send in a reasonable question via this email, killian.murphy at bbc.co.uk. So thank you for your lovely reasonable questions this week. So the one that I've chosen is from Nige. That's all he's given us. Um, so Nige says, Killian, what is your go-to song when you need a lift? I think I may have played this particular song on the radio in the past, but... It's a song by Stevie Wonder called Sugar from Signed, Sealed and Delivered. And it's one of the most gloriously positive, uplifting pieces of music that I've ever, ever heard. I encountered it, I think, when I was in my 20s, when I was doing theatre. And I used to put it on sometimes before I'd go on stage. It's like pure sonic joy. And I think Stevie is playing the drums in it. Well, I, I seem to remember like finding that out but whoever is playing the drums on it it's extraordinary I would encourage you all to go and search out that song Sugar by Stevie Wonder thank you for the reasonable question and we'll have more reasonable questions next week oh now it's time for an exclusive let's play the exclusive ident exclusive 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 oh my god let's play it again exclusive 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 this is where I play something on the radio that has never been heard before. I can't guarantee you you're going to get an exclusive every week, but this week we've got something very special. We've got something from Kevin Drew. Kevin Drew is one of the original founding members of one of my favorite bands, Broken Social Scene. And this is a track from his third solo album. It's called All Your Fails. A little bit about the record. The record's called Aging which is a gorgeously brave name, I think, for a record. We're all feeling that. I certainly am. And it says here that it was the inevitable title of his meditative new record because he was living everything that comes with it. Influenced by the recent passing of friends and family, the album brings together songs written over a decade, marked by the signifiers of midlife, loss, love and illness, all while wrestling with the hard truths of ageing. Here you go. Exclusive. <laughs> Right, next we're going to have some music from a band called Wu. Um, this is beautiful, gentle guitar music, and it's got a beautiful title. It's called It's Love. That was music from Ian Mann and Sandy's, a tune called Minor Meditation. The full album is going to be out next year on Royal Oakey Records. This next track is excellent. This is a track called... Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. I mean, I could keep saying that on the radio. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. And it's from a band called Wayne Carter and the Organ Twisters. You know, I mean, epic names. A bit of um, classic Motown for you there. That was The Supremes, Where Did Our Love Go? Genius piece of music. And before that, you heard some archive from Mary Wilson from the Supremes just chatting about how they came to record that song. Right, a little change of mood now and I have some Irish music for you. This is from Cormac Begley who is a concertina player from West Kerry which is a part of the world that has a very special place in my heart and this fella is an extraordinary player. This is a new single from him and it's called To War. So I heard three pieces of music there, three pieces of Irish music. 
You heard Cormac Begley with To War. Then you heard Lancome with the Master Crowleys from their Mercury nominated studio album, Falls Lancome, which came out in Rough Trade this year. I had the pleasure of seeing Lancome in Dublin a few months ago. Absolutely mighty, mighty gig. You know, I, I'm reluctant to employ the word spiritual because it just gets thrown around the place. But that was felt like you could apply that word to that gig. It was powerful stuff. They're on tour at the moment. I'd recommend going to see them. You can get all their dates on LancomeDublin.com. Get out and see them. Support them. Buy the t-shirt. Buy the record. Then you heard the late, great, irreplaceable Sinead O'Connor, who we lost in July. That was a track called Jan O'Dead. I have to give a shout out to David Holmes for turning me on to this track. It's the opening track off Throw Down Your Arms from 2005. And it was a, a cover of a, of a tune released by Burning Spear in 78, album uh, produced by Sly and Robbie. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voice. More Irish music for you now. This perhaps, this is contender for um, single of the year for me. This is from Green Chatton who you will know as the vocalist of the Fontaines DC. This is a track called Fairlies. Green says this about the tune. I wrote Fairlies in the intense heat, partly in Jerez, Spain, partly in LA, a couple of days before a Fontaines tour kicked off. It was a quick write, and I believe I celebrated each line with a beer. Good man, Green. This is Fairlies. I'm a big fan of this next artist. Her name is Lael Neal. It's a track called I Am The River. It's from her album Star Eater's Delight, which came out this year via Sub Pop. Here's a little detail that I enjoyed uh, in the old notes for this record. Lael Neal still has a flip phone and there were no screens involved in the creation of her new record. We're going to have music now from Baxter Jewelry. This was also one of my favourite singles from the year. And Baxter very, very kindly agreed to record a little intro for the tune so I'll shut up other than to say uh, Baxter is touring in October go and see him all dates available on BaxterJury.t I'm going to play you music now from John Parrish and Aldous Harding people who have listened to the show know that I'm a massive massive uh, admirer of Aldous Harding saw her recently in Dublin as well mesmerising performer and this is from an album called The Endless Coloured Ways which is an album of cover versions of Nick Drake tunes and it's a beautiful collection of covers and the one that uh, Aldous Harding does with John Parrish is called Three Hours which was originally on the 1969 album Five Leaves Left I'll be playing more from this record over the course of the shows anyway, stop talking, listen to it exciting, groundbreaking news here new content on the show we thought it might be cool if we could, you know, have a little more audience interaction. I know we do ask a reasonable question, and thank you again for all those outrageously reasonable questions that you've sent in. But this year we, we thought that we'd try and augment that a little bit. So in the BBC, we have this magic box that randomly generates postcodes and allows you to instantly connect with whomever is in that particular postcode. Now, that's actually not true, but it does help explain the next item. So think of it as kind of like an advent calendar, which is nothing to do with Christmas, like a musical advent calendar where every week we'll puncture a little cardboard aperture into someone's musical life and find out what they're listening to. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Just unleash the appalling ident. The next piece of music you're going to hear is from a very interesting artist called Ken Nordine. It's a piece of music called Coral. It's a sort of a spoken word uh, piece of music. He was a voiceover artist. You'll probably some of you will recognize his voice. And he was really into well, this is what he said. I like jazz for the principle of what jazz is, a flight of musical fantasy within structure. I'm trying to do the same thing verbally. Take off on a theme so you become tangential and transcendent at the same time. Here you go, this is Carl. That was the poet Billy Collins with one of his poems called Nightclub. That was the closing poem on the Best Cigarette album, which was released in 1997. He was the Poet Laureate of the United States from 2001 to 2003. Got to thank my good pal Barry Ward for turning me on to that poem. I underscored that poem with a piece of music by Josiah Steinbrick. 
The piece of music is helpfully called vibraphone, marimbaphone, malleted wood and two synthesizers. Right, the next piece of music is from an artist called Sarathi Korwa. Again, this is one of the pieces of music that just stuck in my head and stay there. I hope you like it. That track was called Remember Begum Rakea by Sarathay Korwan. Now, oh yes, this next piece of music is by an Iranian-American singer-songwriter called Rahil. And it's just, it's a very mellow, it's a very approachable mellow piece of music. And it's called I Smile for E. Now, we're going to have some music from Gia Margaret now. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of music called Hinakai Wood, which came out this year on the album Romantic Piano from Jag Jaguar. I like this. She says of the album, I wanted to make music that was useful. And uh, I think this is pretty useful. Wasn't that um, just delicious? That was Giovanni Venosta, and that was called Woman in Late. He's a... Uh, an Italian composer born in 1961, and that was from the album Olympic Signals. The album is subtitled Improbable Music for People Who Aren't Very Disposed. And I don't know what that means, but I think I'm one of those people. This is the last piece of music I'm going to play for you. Thank you so much for listening. It's so great to be back on the radio. Thank you to my fantastic producer, Angela Davis, for putting this whole thing together. I will see you next week. The last piece of music I'm going to leave you with is new music from Burial, and this is called Unknown Summer. I'll see you. Mind yourselves. Summer.